what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to another youtube video so today i'm going to be looking at the freedom Fi helium 5g miner i'm very excited to do this because this is the first 5g miner on the market and i think this is going to be the first video on this miner actually in hand and tearing it down so yeah you heard that right going to be tearing this miner down to see what's going on inside because i'm sure like most of you guys know you're probably all curious and i think this is actually fulfilled by rack that's who i got the shipment confirmation from so we'll see that later in the video to see if there is actually any rack parts in here. So I'm going to start off by cutting this up. There is a security tape on the front of it, and there is also some plastic wrap. So it's making me feel like this is a high-end device. And that is a high-end device. It costs $999 and, uh, what is it, six months of being on a wait list. So now that I've finally gotten the opportunity to buy it, I figured let's snag it up. Let's see what's going on. So let's start by opening it up. And here it is. So you can see, as always, there is their little info sheet. It seems to be with every helium miner, there is always that little card that tells you, oh, go on this website to check it out. So it's nice that they do that, but there's some more ports there. That's interesting. Looks like we also have, what is this? This is a, all right, we got a metal bracket. That is awesome. That's like industrial, it's durable compared to the Bobcat one. We also got a very large power adapter. This is not your typical power adapter that we've seen. Uh, this is a, what does it look like, 40 watts? And it's from China, so a little upset about that. But we also have a antenna, which is a lot smaller than the rack and the sense cap, but it's still pretty good. It probably does the same amount of uh, DBI and whatnot. And we got the power cord right there. Yeah, that's a that's a massive power brick. Did not expect it to be that big. I expected it to be something more like the Bobcat, where it's literally just a a wall plug and a small little adapter. But with that out of the way, let's actually take a look at the miner because I know that's why you guys are all here. So it's in the wrap that they all seem to be in. And I'm gonna take it out and let's see what's going on. And wow, that is like really cool texture. Um I was, I'm very happy with it. And just so you guys know, I'm actually recording this over uh, a recording that I already had. So the audio might be a little bit off. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it sound pretty, but yeah, the texture on this thing was insane. It was really cool. And it is a, it's the color of the metal is very weird. I, I can't quite describe it, but we have four ethernet ports on the front or the back, whatever side you would want to call this with the power port. And there's also some screw there with some, some symbol next to it. I don't know what it actually is. And on the back, we got the four feet, and it looks like there's some other screws. It's probably for the mounting hardware. And I guess you would call this the front? I'm not sure. But there's the USB ports are actually visible on this one. There is the Ethernet for console, it says, and there's a power button. Then we also have the normal helium antenna. So that is that for, like, the miner. Uh, I'm not sure what the top part is. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be, like, radiation of heat like you would have on a CPU. Like, that is a heat sink. Or if it's just for cool design. Or if it's supposed to be something that I can actually like slide that into, if that's like a standardized mount in an industrial business, I'm not sure. But uh, maybe, maybe they just wanted to make it look cool. So, so now I'm going to start tearing it apart. There's four screws on the back and it is very simple. All right, so now with those four screws off, this top plate just comes right off. And wow, there's a lot going on in here, a lot more than I actually expected. We have, as you guys can see, just from the looks of it, computer memory which is huge because on the bobcats if you guys don't know what's been going on there's been some people worried that there's too low of ram in bobcats so we have there our own memory that is upgradable we also have a rack port that you guys can see clearly that is a rack board uh it's the same board that was on the rack miner that i did a teardown on also looks like we have a battery backup built in there we have a power cord so there's possibility for just a industrial grid power um port they just have the positive and negative terminals, 12 volt. And they have, yeah, like I said, the battery. There's just a lot going on in here that I'm actually surprised about. It looks like we also have, um, what is that? Yeah, the RAM. So I, I, it says four or one by eight or two by eight, I believe, but it's one, four gigabyte. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm just taking it out to make sure there's no RAM behind it. And that sounds silly, but I don't know if there was RAM on the other side of the board that I couldn't see. So it looks like they were buying the RAM in like two packs and just putting them one in each board. Just curious. It's just something I wanted to find out. We also have like all these ports on here that, that I just didn't see before. It looks like we have a display port. There's the USB ports. There is uh, a fan port even it looks like. So I'm not sure if that is uh, 
like if there's enough power going to it i figure 40 watts would be enough to supply a fan if there is uh the necessity for a fan that just looks like uh future proofing in my opinion is what they're doing so they have the display port like i said and then if you look at the ethernet ports or whatever kind of ports you want to call those uh, because it's a 5g miner i'm not sure what you call it. it looks like they have the mac addresses for each port on uh labeled on top of them so that's something interesting and uh, i'm not sure if that has anything to do with it and uh in the future if that will do anything but there's also some weird labeling on here i'm not sure what that means i'm just not not familiar with with the 5g world and if any of this stuff is 5g or if it's just traditional internet stuff i'm not sure if this was going to act as a router as well uh, yeah, so basically what's happening is I have the miner right now and in 6 to 12 weeks I will be able to get the 5G module. So until then, this is all I can do. I can just mine helium. But once I get the 5G module, I will be making a video on that as well because I'm really interested in how that is going to work. I think this is best, um, if it would be best if I place this in a very populated area like, let's say a mall, but I got to make sure it's not like a dead mall. And then it has to be in like an area where there's a decent amount of miners as well. So I'm not sure how I'm going to figure this out. This is going to be a very interesting challenge for me. But this is, that's it. This is the 5G Freedom 5 miner that I've been talking about since the day it was announced. And it's really cool that it is now a uh, official product in my hands. So I'm really excited about that. We got the logos, like I said, uh, it's pretty cool. I, I just really like this miner. It's, I like the way that these miners are coming out sense cap rack and now the freedom find they're making them out of metal i don't like these plastic miners like nebra and bobcat now bobcat makes a decent miner but i'm just talking about the actual materials i think if they were to make it out of metal a lot more people might be satisfied i just don't like the idea that i could drop it and it would break i like metal because it is stronger but that's all i got for you guys if you do have any questions about this uh, please comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.